This is the letter A. Big A, small A. Let's look at the letter features of A. What does big A have? Are there circles, curves, slanted lines, dots? Hmm. I see there's a slanted line, a slanted line, and a sweeping straight line. Big A goes like this. Slant down, slant down, across A. We always start our letters at the top. Let's do it again. Slant down, slant down, across A. I know who could help us. Al the alligator. Al, can you help us? Can you help us say our writing prompts for A? Slant down, slant down, across A. Yay! Good job, Al. Let's use an a, a, apple wand to write it. Slant down, slant down, across A. Nice job. I'm going to write it on the chalkboard. Can you help me? Slant down, slant down, across A. Now that we've found things that start with the letter B with Bella the Bear, let's talk about how to write the letter B. Let's look at the letter features of Big B. What does it have? You're right, there's a straight line and a curve and a curve. This is how we say Big B. Down, up, around, around B. Can you say it? Down, up, around, around B. Let's use our bear claws to say it. Look at my bear claws. Can you get some pretend bear claws out? And let's trace the letter B. Down, up, around, around B. Let's say it in a bear voice. Down, up, around, around B. I'm going to use my bear claws to trace it. Remember, we always start our letters at the top. Down, up, around, around B. That was so fun to learn about the letter C. Now that we know what sound the letter C makes, k, 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 are you ready to trace it with me? This is the letter C. The letter C has a curve on it. Can you trace the letter C with me? Around curve C, around curve C. Now let's be k, k, cats. Meow, around curve C, around curve C. Very good. I'm going to take my paintbrush and dip it in some k, k, colored paint. Around curve C. Around curve C. Very good. Yay! Now let's trace it on the chalkboard. Around curve C. Around curve C. Very good. Wasn't that so fun to meet Duke the dog? He is so cute. Do you remember what letter D, D, dog starts with? That's right, it's a D. Let's trace the D together. Down, up, curve, D. Can you say it with me? Down, up, curve, D. Now let's be dogs like Duke. Down, up, curve, D. Good job. Yay! Let's trace it on the blackboard. Down, up, curve, D. Perfect. I loved learning about the letter E with our new elf friend. Let's go ahead and practice writing the letter E. Now, do you remember what animal this is? This is an e e elephant. E e elephant. I have a silly elephant trunk to help me write our letters today. Can you be an <laughs> elephant with me? Very good. This is the letter E. When we trace the letter E, we do it like this. 
down, across, across, across. E. Can you do it with me? Let's do it in a squeaky elf voice. Down, across, across, across. E. Very good. Let's trace it on our chalkboard. Down, across, across, across. E. Let's trace the letter E with my elephant trunk. Are you ready? Down, across, across, across. E. Let's learn how to write the letter F. Let's look at the letter features of F. What does F have? Hmm. You're right. Big F has straight lines. You know what? Big F only has straight lines. It has a standing soldier straight line and a sleeping straight line. Let's write big F. Down, across, across F. Can you say it with me? Down, across, across F. One more time. Let's say it this time in an underwater voice <laughs> because we're going to be fish. Down, across, across, F. Nice work. Let's do it in the air. Finger in the air. Ready? Down, across, across, F. Watch me trace it on the chalkboard. I'm going to do it so fast. Don't blink. Are you ready? Down, across, across, F. Oh, I did it really fast. Do you think I can do it faster? Yay! You do? Down, across, across, F. Can you do it fast? Down, across, across, F. You did it! That was fun learning about the letter G with our new gorilla friend. Let's practice tracing the letter G now. This is a G. G says g, g, g. Can you say it with me? G, g, g. Very good! Yay! Now, when we trace a G, let's trace the letter G with a banana for our g, g, gorilla. Are you ready? A round curve across G. A round curve across G. Very good. Now, let's do our very big <laughs> gorilla voice and trace our G. Ready? <laughs> A round curve <laughs> across G. One more time. <laughs> A round curve across G. <laughs> good job. Hooray! Let's trace it on the blackboard now. A round curve across G. A round curve across G. Very good. Now that we found all of the words that start with H, let's learn how to write the letter H. This is the letter H. Let's look at the letter features. What letter features does H have? That's right. Letter H has straight lines. There are two standing soldier straight lines and one sleeping straight line. Down, down, across H. Can you say it with me? Down, down, across H. Let's say it in a cowboy voice. Howdy, partner. Down, down, across H. Take your finger and put it in the air. Let's dip it in some colored paint. Let's use blue. Dip, dip, dip. Down, down, across H. You choose the color this time. What color should we use? Okay, ready? Dip, dip, dip. Down, down, across H. Yay! Let's write it on the chalkboard. Down. Down, across, H. Down, down, across, H. So igloo, I, I, igloo starts with the letter I. Can you say I? Very good. So we are going to trace the letter I. Are you ready? 
When we trace the letter I, we say down, up, across, across, I. Remember, we always start our letters at the top. Down, up, across, across, I. Very good. Now let's say it in a really cold voice. Down, up, across, across, I. Can you trace it in the air with me? Down, up, across, across, I. Let's do it with this fun little scarf. Down, up, across, across, I. Very good. Now let's trace it on our blackboard. Down, up, across, across, I. I, I, <laughs> igloo. Did you have so much fun with that Jack in the Box? I know I did. Let's learn how to write the letter J. Here is our big J. What letter features does big J have? Hmm, I see a curve and a straight line. It's a sleeping straight line. This is how we say J. Down, curve up, across J. Can you say that? Down, curve up, across J. Let's say it one more time. Down, curve up, across J. Yay! Nice job! Watch me write it on the chalkboard. Down, curve up, across J. Let's say it as if we were a jack in the box. We're going to do this and then pop up on the across. Down, curve up, across J. Nice job. Put your finger in the air and write it with me. Ready? Down, curve up, across J. Down, curve up, across J. Now that we've learned about some animals that start with K, let's learn how to write the letter K. Look at this. My big K and my little K look almost exactly the same. The only difference is that this one is smaller and has a little more of a straight line on it. Speaking of straight lines, what letter features do you see on K? That's right, there are slants on K and one straight line. This is how we write it. Down, slant in, slant out. Let's try again. Down, slant in, slant out. Put your finger in the air. Let's talk like an Australian. Good day, mate. Down, slant in, slant out. K. That's fair dinkum. Now let's write the letter K. Down, slant in, slant out. K. This is the letter L. What letter features does the letter L have? You're right! I see straight lines in L. There's a soldier straight line and a sleeping straight line in big L. Small L has a soldier straight line. Down across L. Can you say it? Down across L. Look at my lion finger. This lion is going to help us write our L. Are you ready? Down across L. Down L. Let's say it in a lion voice. Down across L. Down L. Now let's say it in a ladybug voice. Are you ready? Down across L. Down L. You did it. Now I would like to teach you how to write the letter M. Do you want to hear something kind of fun about the letter M? My name is Miss Megan. My name starts with the letter M. Now, I have a special friend here with me today. This is Mr. Mouse. 
Mr. Mouse is going to help us learn how to write the letter M. Are you ready? When we trace the letter M, we do it like this. Down, up, slant, down, slant, up, down, M. Are you ready? Show me your finger. Let's trace it together. Down, up, slant, down, slant, up, down, M. Now friends, there are two letter features in the letter M. What letter features do you see? We have two soldier straight lines and two slanted lines. Let's try one more time. Down, up, slant, down, slant, up, down, M. Can you trace it with me? Down, up, slant, down, slant, up, down, M. Wasn't that fun going swimming and finding things that start with the letter N? N says mmm. Let's learn how to write our big N. What letter features does big N have? Let's look. I see a soldier straight line, a Sylvie the slant, and another soldier straight line. This is how we write the letter N. Down, slant down, up, N. Can you say it with me? Down, slant down, up, N. Let's say it in a narwhal voice. Get your finger in the air and dip it in some paint. Down, slant down, up, N. Great job, you narwhal, you. Let's write it on the chalkboard. Down, slant down, up, N. Great job. One more time. This time, let's say it in a deep narwhal voice. Ready? Down, slant down, up, N. I loved playing that octopus game. Let's learn how to write the letter O. This is the letter O. Take a look. What letter features are in O? You're right. There's a circle in the letter O. Great job. Spencer's circle is round just like an O. This is how we write the letter O. A round close O. Can you say that with me? A round close O. Nice job. Let's write it in the air. We're going to dip our hands in some water and put your hands up. A round close O. Pretend like you're under the water now. A round close O. Great work. Here's my octopus friend. He's going to help me write the letter O. A round close O. Great job, octopus. I love the letter P because pandas are such a cute animal. Speaking of pandas, let's use my panda friend to learn how to write about the letter. <laughs> let's use my panda friend to learn how to write the letter P. Look at my P. What letter features do you see in P? <gasps> do you see a curve? I know I do. Do you see a soldier straight line? This is how we say our P. Down, up, curve, P. Can you say it? Down, up, curve, P. Let's use our panda and trace a P in the air. Down, up, curve, P. Let's say it in a panda voice. Down, up, curve, P. Nice job. I'm going to use my paintbrush and paint on the letter P. Down, up, curve, P. Great job. Why don't you stick your finger in some paint and let's paint it on. Down, up, curve, P.
Did you like our quiet song? I love that song and I always sing it to my babies. Let's learn how to write the letter Q. This is a big Q. What letter features does Q have? That's right! A Q has a circle, like Spencer's circle, and a slant, like Sylvie the slant. This is how we write Q. A round, close, slant out Q. Can you say it? A round, close, slant out Q. Let's say it in a quiet voice. A round, close, slant out Q. You did it, very good. Let's write Q on the chalkboard. Ready? A round, close, slant out Q. I want you to write it with a magic marker. Put your magic marker in the air. A round, close, slant out Q. Let's say it in a qua qua queen voice. Are you ready? A round, close, slant out Q. That was such a fun rainbow game. Thanks for playing with us. Now let's learn how to write the letter R. This is an R. Look at the letter features of big R. What kind of a line is this? That's right, it's a straight line soldier. What kind of a line is this? It's a slanted line, just like a slide. And look, the big letter R has a curve. This is how we say the writing prompt for R. Down, up, curve, slant out, R. Listen to me say it again. Down, up, curve, slant out, R. Let's say it in a robot voice. Down, up, curve, slant out, R. Nice job. Let's write it on the chalkboard now. Can you say it with me? Let's say it in a rabbit voice. Rabbits, hop, 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 ready? Hop, hop, down, up, curve, slant out, R. Hold your finger in the air and pretend like it's a paintbrush. We're going to dip the paintbrush in the colors of the rainbow. Do you remember them? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and that makes a rainbow. Nice job! Let's paint with our rainbow paintbrush. Down, up, curve, slant out, R. So I have some spooky Halloween objects with me to help us learn about the letter S. Right here, I have a skeleton and a spider, a snake, and some other spooky Halloween objects like a skull. Now I'm going to use my spooky skeleton to help us trace the letter S. Do you see any letter features in our letter S? Look at this, I see two curves in the letter S. When we trace the letter S, we always start our letters at the top. Can you help me trace with my spooky skeleton? Curve, curve, S. Curve, curve, S. Now, let's trace it in the air and say it in a spooky Halloween voice. Are you ready? Curve, curve, S. Curve, curve, S. Very good. Now, let's trace it on our chalkboard. Curve, curve, S. Curve, curve, S. You know, over there, I saw some spider webs that had some objects stuck in it. Do you wanna go check it out? I love scaring people. We found a lot of toys in Miss Megan's room that start with the letter T. 
Let's take a look at the letter T. What letter features does the letter T have? Look at this. It's a soldier straight line and a sleeping straight line. You're right. Let's learn how to write the letter T. Down, across, T. Can you say it in a t -t train voice? Choo, choo, chugga, 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 chugga. Down, across, T. Choo, choo. Good work. Let's say it with our turtle. Turtles walk really slow. Can you say down across T in a slow turtle voice? <gasps> down across T. Good work. My t -t teddy bear is going to write the letter T on the chalkboard. Are you ready, Teddy? Let's go. Down, across, T. Good job, Teddy, high five. So, all of the raindrops that we found started with the letter U, just like an uh, uh, umbrella. U makes an uh, uh, uh sound. Can you say U, U, uh, umbrella? U, U, uh, umbrella. Very good. This is the letter U. Do you see any of our letter features in it? What if I turned it this way? Oh, do you see the tunnel? Did you know tunnels can go this direction too? When we trace the letter U, we say down, curve up, U. Down, curve up, U. Let's trace it with my umbrella. Are you ready? Down, curve up, U. Down, curve up, U. Let's say it in an uh, uh, umpire voice. An uh, uh, umpire is someone who plays baseball. Are you ready? Down, curve up, U. You're out. Are you ready to trace the letter U with me? Down, curve up, U. Down, curve up, U. Great job. I am so happy that Megan helped me get ready for my Valentine's Day party. Let's take a look at the letter V. What letter features does letter V have? You're right. Letter V has a Sylvie slant down and a Sylvie slant up. This is how we say V. Slant down, slant up, V. Can you say it with me? Slant down, slant up, V. Let's say it in a Valentine's voice. Valentine's Day is all about love. Are you ready? Slant down, slant up, V. V is my pretties, is the letter W. When we trace the W, we do it like this. Slant down, slant up, slant down, slant up. Now place your witchy fingers in the air and trace it with me. Slant down, slant up, slant down, slant up. Ooh, very good. Now I would like you to think. What are the letter features in W? Are there straight lines, slanted lines, curves? That's right, there are four slanted lines in the letter W. Now are you ready? Let's trace it. Slant down, slant up, slant down, slant up. Big W. Slant down, slant up, slant down, slant up. And that is a little W. Wasn't that such a fun story with a fox in it? Remember, fox has a x, x, x sound at the end, which is from the letter X. This is our letter X. Let's learn how to write the letter X. Take a look at the letter features. What does X have? 
Oh my goodness, you're right. There's a slanted line and a slanted line. X only has slanted line. This is how you write X. Slant down, slant down, X. Wasn't that easy? Let's write it on the chalkboard. Let's say it in a fox voice. Are you ready? Slant down, slant down, X. Great job. Now let's use the gingerbread voice. Ready? Slant down, slant down, X. Okay, one more voice. Let's be the little old man. Slant down, slant down, X. Good work, my friends. I want your help this time. I want you to write it in the air. You can be the little boy and the little girl from the story and use your own voice. Dip it in some yummy gingerbread smelling paint. Slant down, slant down, X. I loved following the yellow brick road to find the letter Y. Let's learn all about the letter Y. Take a look at capital Y. What does it have? You're right, it has a slanted line, a slanted line, and a soldier straight line. Very good. This is how we say Y. Slant down, slant down, down Y. Can we say it again? Slant down, slant down, down Y. Good work. Let's try it on the chalkboard. Slant down, slant down, down Y. This time, let's use a yak voice. Yak, slant down, slant down, down Y. Good work. Now I want you to trace it with me. Put your finger in the air and let's pretend to be Batman. Batman sounds like this. Slant down, slant down, down Y. I am Batman. Let's be Elsa. Ah, slant down, slant down, down Y. Nice job. One more. Can you yodel with me? Y y yodel starts with Y. Yodle, yodle, yodle. Let's try it. Slant down, slant down, down Y. So just to review, let's talk about some things that start with the letter Z. Are you ready? <gasps> What are these? They're zebras. We just saw zebras at the zoo. Z -z -z zebras start with Z. Let's see. Oh, look at this. It's a zipper. Zippers are on our jackets and on our pants and z -z zipper starts with the letter Z. This is a zero. Z zero starts with the letter Z. What's this? This says zoo. Today we went to the zoo. Zoo starts with a z. -z, -z. And our very last one that's also on our mailbox. Zigzag. Zigzag starts with Z. Are you ready to trace the letter Z? Let's trace it together. When we trace the letter Z, we go across, slant down, across, Z. Can you say it with me? Across, slant down, across, Z. Now, let's say it in a Zorro voice. Z -z 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 Z. Very good. What about a, what about a zebra? Hmm, I wonder what a zebra sounds like. Maybe a little bit like a horse. Nay, across, slant down, across, Z. Nay. All right, now let's trace it together on the blackboard. Across, slant down, across, Z. Hey there, friends. If you liked this video, you can find hundreds more over at our website. Go to www.mypreschoolplace.com 
or you can follow the link below. There, you can access all of our videos and download worksheets and activities to go with them. We have hundreds of worksheets and activities to keep you happy, engaged, and learning at home. Can't wait to see you there.